You know, a lot of people are getting more and more nervous about how bad the coronavirus outbreak could get here in the States. So yesterday, you know who <laughs> held a press conference to let Americans know he's on the case. <laughs> Take a look. Because of all we've done, the risk to the American people remains very low. And we have the greatest experts in the world, really in the world, right here. We're going to spend whatever's appropriate. Hopefully, we're not going to have to spend so much because we really think we've done a great job in keeping it down to a minimum. We're going to be putting our Vice President, Mike Pence, in charge. And Mike will be working with the professionals. Wash your hands. <laughs> stay clean. You don't have to necessarily grab every handrail unless you have to. You know, you do certain things that you do when you have the flu. I mean, view this the same as the flu. Yeah. Does that make anybody feel better? Yeah. Oh, now that, now that okay. Pence is in charge. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I well, just... I mean, in all seriousness, Mike Pence has a really bad record when it comes uh, yeah, to yeah. health records in Indiana. He actually um, hurt HIV patients because he halted needle exchanges. Right. Yep. And it really impacted HIV outbreaks in Indiana. So I think that reason alone, I just think it's really simple. Someone with a medical and, you know, virus background should be in charge of a potentially deadly and lethal virus. Yeah. A medical outbreak in the United States of America it doesn't seem like that much of a leap for me. I don't think I'm not comfortable with him in charge. Well, he also right. wrote an op-ed declaring that smoking does not kill. Yeah. He said that uh, despite the hysteria from political class and the media, smoking, in fact, two out of every three smokers does not die from a smoking-related illness. He's not a doctor. But one out of three does, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> that's the issue. He's also a science denier. I mean, he he, he called global warming a myth as well. Well, yeah, he's a so denier. He's, he doesn't he's a, believe he's a climate in science. denier. And so I, concerns I just, me less than the HIV. I just don't understand well, you know, why, why he was why well, he I, I have my theory. Oh, as to why he chose my yeah. well, I, have, I think we share the same theory. Okay, well, I, I think he chose him because he knows this is more extreme than anybody wants to talk about. There's much to be done. You don't, we don't need to panic. But whenever he wants to look like he's doing something really good, he will do something and then put somebody else in charge of it when he knows there, uh, there's a cliff coming. Mm -hmm. And so I think he's setting, I'm sorry, I setting think him he's up. setting him up. Yeah. Because, listen, <laughs> you know, he knows that we don't have the information that we need. We're not getting all the information we need. And the people who are in charge who should have this information mm -hmm. do not have it. We saw that when the senators from both sides of the aisle were questioning the head of, I believe it was the head of the CDC, I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. But if, you, if people are saying, no, we don't have to worry about it, all you have to do is the flu, it's a little more complicated <coughs> than that. And I think that you can't do this to people. You need to put people in charge who know what to do. But part of the but problem is the narrative, because I watched last night live, and I don't right. disagree with the clapping, but um, I watched last night live, and there's there's just a huge narrative um, d dissimulation in the sense that, like, we have the president of Japan saying uh, no children are allowed to go to school anymore. They're going to be quarantined because this is so dangerous in Japan. Mm -hmm. And here we're just being told, hey, wash your hands, it's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Japan is a, you know, first world giant country, mm -hmm. and I don't understand mm -hmm. the sort of delineation between how other first world countries are handling this and this. But his, I'm, I'm very worried. I think most people are. We've been, it's the first thing everyone's, my cab driver was talking about it every day. Everyone in here is talking about it. Yeah. I think it should be taken very seriously. I ignorance. wish we wouldn't politicize this on both sides. We're not. Well, but his ignorance no, but is breathtaking. He was, and, because and he, to to Anjay, to, uh, Sanjay Gupta had yeah. to tell him that thousands, tens of thousands of people die of the flu every year. Every he year. didn't know that. Everybody yeah. kind of knows that. Yeah. And he's in charge of us. I think it was something like 80,000 people died of the flu <laughs> last year. You know, one of the reasons I think he chose the vice president to do this mm -hmm. is because it is so serious. And had he appointed someone with real medical background, that person would not necessarily cover his ineptitude. We know that Mike Pence will cover for him because he well, is such we'll, we'll, a loyalist. But will, will Pence and take I the rap? I think rap? that's why. Will Pence be the, the, the sacrificial the lamb? That'll be I the end so. of his 
his career. Well, we do know that Mike he's Pence um, has covered for him in the past. He is a loyalist, and I think Trump needed someone in that position just in case things go that's bad. Cool, right? That's cool, right? That's, yeah, that's what I, 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 I don't know why anyone would laugh about that, because yeah. the crap goes it's wrong, it's going to be bad for all of us, so clap for Horrible, horrible. Because this is but, bad, but, but really, I, really I do not like the politicizing of this. People are scared, and it's okay to be scared, because there's a lot of misinformation out there. There is a lot of misinformation, but we don't have to buy into all of it. There are things that we can do right now. If you're sick, stay home. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's the first thing but you like, do. I just heard someone it, clapping or yes. clapping backstage. Yes, so like, it's, it's, it's all right. That's, that, that, that's how <laughs> they were feeling. But, but I'm just saying, there are things that we can do. If you're not feeling well, stay home. Yeah. Don't take the chance. If you're somebody with a, a, a slightly compromised immune system, yeah. you know, figure if you're not feeling well, if something doesn't feel right, check yourself out. I Don't have, wait. I have a clarification that I'm coming in here. Okay. On my watch. Uh -oh. Okay. Sanjay reported okay. that Trump didn't know about the flu deaths until just before the presser. Someone on his team had to tell him, not Sanjay himself. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Was that necessary? Like, they, that okay. course, it's uh, exclamation points were coming right. in, so I guess... All yeah. right. Yeah. Give me your hand. Damn it. <laughs>